Hey everyone, welcome back. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I once stayed in a 747 hotel. Well, today I'm in the Netherlands and I thought I would go and check out another airplane hotel. However, this one is slightly different compared to the one in Stockholm that had many rooms and I stayed in the cockpit. This one I have to myself. This is not just many rooms. This is just one big hotel room and it's just for me. You have to see this, let's go and check it out. I'm literally at an airport in the middle of nowhere in the Netherlands. I've got the whole plane to myself. What is inside is truly amazing. Before I go in and show you, I just thought we'll have a quick look around the aircraft because it is absolutely huge. Doesn't have an air bridge. The stairs are all ready to go up. Look at the propellers. And also, it's got a red carpet. Now, I'm actually really looking forward to my night stay in here because, you know, when I was in the other hotel, yes, I had the whole aircraft to myself, but that was because no one else was staying that night. However, it doesn't matter because this whole aircraft is just for me. And it also has a pretty good working cockpit. Well, when I say working, you'll see what I mean when we walk in there. Let's head in. There's a doorbell here as well, isn't it? It's won a few awards. A set of keys. Amazing, right? Now, I don't know where to start. Do we go that way or do I go that way? In fact, let me just show you the living room first. I still can't believe this is all for me, but this living room is Pretty spacious, almost like the first class area on a private jet. So, wow, nice and comfy leather seats with these tables that push out so you can put a, a tea or a coffee on them. And of course, right at the front is the cockpit, but I will actually show you that later on. What's also cool about these areas is that if you want something to plug your phone into, the plug sockets come out like that. What's in here? I have no idea what this is. This is all in Dutch, so I don't know. This Is this a game or something? Let me know in the comments. Look at how big the windows are. I love the lighting all the way across here and up the top. But let me just pan you around and just look at the length of the plane all the way down into the bedroom. First up, we've got the TV. We also have a range of DVDs that I can check out if I want. Um, we've got mini bar price list, so the mini bar stuff is not included. I've got a menu for dinner tonight, and there's more instructions here about the hotel. It's weird saying the hotel, isn't it? I noticed that there's all these books, and all of these are people's comments. So when they've stayed here, going up to yesterday i believe so i'll put my little bit in there after my stay so it comes with a full kitchen i have a range of tea to choose from like literally loads i've got some cappuccinos there if i want it but check this out i've always wanted this in my house instant hot water look at that i don't need a kettle just gotta remember not to wash my hands in there there's the normal sink as well and if i don't want a tea Look at this, a Miele coffee machine built in. I want one of these in my house. Now it's in Dutch, so I've got to try and figure out how this actually works so I can get a cappuccino going. There's even a throffer. If I wanted it, I've got an oven, so you can book this out for like a week. A dishwasher and a huge fridge. We've got cups, wine glasses, and some red wine. There's also some cupboards down here where if I open them up, I've got the mini bar. Now all this comes at an extra cost. It's not censored, so I'm all right. I don't think so. No, it's not. Champagne. All the spirits I could want, including a nice Baileys there. We've got beer and some soft drinks down there as well. So the price list for a Coke, three euros. This wine is nine euros. This little Baileys, six euros. And then we move on into the dining area, which has been set up for two people for Valentine's. So when I order dinner, it gets delivered to me. So I don't know whether I'm gonna actually need these plates, but I like how they've set it out. I've even got a couple of cakes there to enjoy. There's more candles, sugar, flute glasses, and an ice bucket. 
Got some fresh fruit, some very funky vases. Look at that. And then also a couple of chairs to eat your dinner on. So I guess you can push them up. I have to show you this though. There is mini treats on here. I don't think I've ever seen a Kit Kat that small before. Where on earth do you get those Kit Kats from? A little mini peanut butter Kit Kat. I'm in heaven. And there is loads of other little treats on there, including some peppermints. It's a nice touch. And what's also pretty good is there is electrical outlets pretty much everywhere. I was wrong. The seating is down here. So I guess I sit on these to sit up the dinner table. A bit hard, but perfect. So up this part of the plane, it gets a little bit crazy. First up, we have a bath jacuzzi. Very nice. Look at that, you can hear the planes going off out there. And if you didn't want a jacuzzi, how about a sauna? Yeah, you heard me right, a sauna in a plane. Well, in this sauna, six people? Obviously this sauna is a little bit different. The heat comes out of here rather than stones. There's more heating there, there's heating there, there's more heating there. In fact, it's kind of more like an oven than a sauna. And what is amazing about all these rooms on the back, they all have a little window that you can see through all the way down the end as well. I can't believe I'm sitting in a sauna in a plane. Two sinks with some goodies, buttons and needles, some shower gel, conditioner. I love these taps. One thing I've noticed, there's only one mirror in the whole place, and it's here. And then behind this door, we have the shower. And this shower, right, is huge. Look at that shower head. I've never seen a shower head like it. That is humongous. A big rainfall shower. And dare I say it, you could easily get 10 people in here but you can still see into the next room, which I'll show you in a minute, and then you can look back into the sauna as well. I love how they've done that. There's a little step down to come in. And then the last room, we have the throne. And what's very interesting about this is that they have got black toilet roll. Now, I don't wanna go into too much detail, but I don't think black toilet roll is a good idea. I'm sure you'll tell me why in the comments, but the branding is on point because the black furnishings, right? This black tap, which almost looks like carbon. Even though this is a B-Day, I've never seen a B-Day quite shaped like that. In fact, if you had little kids in here, they probably think that's their toilet. And it's all frosted glass, so you can keep your dignity as well. Right, now, before we head into the bedroom, there is a balcony here we need to go and check out. Let's just head out here. And then we have our own little veranda where we can take in views. Just gonna quickly mention, we are by a local airport and there is an option to take a flying lesson when you stay here, or you can take a short flight, which is exactly what I'm gonna do in the morning. Whether it's gonna be a flying lesson or just a short flight, I don't know yet. I've got to psych myself up. I've never been in a small plane before. And so out here, we've got a couple of chairs and a table and a nice lawned area. There's also access down there as well if I want. You can see the back of the plane here, which to be honest, doesn't look as clean as the other side, does it? But check this out. This is the bedroom. I kind of don't want to mess the bed up, but this has been done for Valentine's. A little bit lonely that I'm here on my own. On the bed though, we've got a nice little heart biscuit. We have slippers and a robe. Now to get into the bed, obviously it's from this way only because you can't get around the sides. But I love how the bed is framed with the lamps at the side. You've also got access to the air conditioning to turn all the lights off and all these little blinds on the windows, so nice. I've also got a huge TV with another DVD player as well so I can watch as many movies as I want to. I say there is no other way around the bed but you can walk on here, I guess, if you want to. Now the bed is very comfortable. I don't want to mess it up but it's a huge bed and love the headboard. The only thing is, is when you put the heating on out there because you're a little bit cold, as you come into the bedroom, because the roof is a little bit lower, or it seems like it's lower, but the bed's a bit higher. It feels very warm in here, so I need to make sure that's quite cool later. I can also just wave my hand and just control all the lighting 
from in here. I've got cockpit lighting, lounge, bedroom, outside lighting as well. Look at that, I can turn that on, ready for later. Look at the lighting controls. Sports bathroom, sports shower, sports bad, sports sauna, sports toilet. This is so big in here as well. If I wanted to keep my steps up or do a little bit of jogging in the morning, I could just jog down to the cockpit. <sighs> right, let's head in. And if you love planes and you're into aviation, you are gonna love this. Check it out. Look at the lighting as you come in. The blue LEDs. This is amazing. Now it's quite dark at the minute, so hopefully you can see all this stuff. But all of this stuff, there's lights on it. So it all feels like it's, it's real. And you can literally touch everything. There are lights on in the cockpit. How crazy is that? You can even put your captain's hat on. All these seats have been re-upholstered as well. The smell of leather in here is really nice. I mean, look at these seats. Next, I have no idea what this is. What on earth does this used to be? You kind of like look through them. Captain Tim, at your service. How do we step in here? As you move these, both of them, both of them move like in a real aircraft. Look, everything, you can physically switch on and off everything there's buttons here unlike the jumbo jet hotel where some buttons weren't working there's switches everywhere although because of the lights i do feel like i could actually be pressing turning something on someone in the comments can tell me what this is obviously you look through something but if you're flying a plane how can you look through that don't get that I think that's a, like a little weather station, isn't it? But all these buttons you can touch. Engine start panel. There is a light on. I think this was a Russian plane. Look at that. Engine start. Oh. And she turns the light off. This is what? The rudder control? Look at that. Safe to say I could be in here for a little while just playing around. By the way, if you are liking the video, it would help me out enormously if you could give the video a thumbs up. And do you know how many of you watch the videos are still not subscribed? It is free to do. If you see that subscribe button, make sure you click it. It helps me out more than you know, and it is free. So I'm just gonna play around in here a little bit more, and then we'll order some dinner. So just finishing off a little bit of editing. Now, this is where I'm gonna be going out to dinner. Now, the restaurant is literally just over the road, and they do deliver here, but I'm kind of thinking that by the time they walk it over, it's gonna get cold. And as much as I'd like to eat in here, I don't want my food to go cold. I am gonna have breakfast in here in the morning because it gets delivered to me. So I thought we're gonna have dinner. I know I need to take this hat off. By the way, just look at the cockpit, how it looks so cool lit up. Look at that. Can't forget these keys, otherwise I won't be able to get back in. The restaurant is still open. Well, there's no real lights on the outside of the uh, the aircraft. Apart from the lights on the path, which look a bit like a runway. No, it's closed. Are you kidding? It's only seven o'clock. Shame they never told me that this place closes early because literally I am in the middle of nowhere. So it looks like I'm not going to be getting any food tonight. I think of all I've got is those Kit Kats in there. I'm gutted. I, do you know what? I called them about two hours ago um, just to see, you know, what time they're open till. But I would have thought, you know, it's only seven, what time is it? It's only half past seven. I thought they'd be open. So dinner did end up being a McDonald's which is about a 10 minute drive down the road and I thought I'd end the night with a bubble bath. What the hat's too much? I'll see you in the morning. Oh this is nice. There's too many bubbles in here.
Morning, so breakfast is served. Now, yesterday when I booked in, a very kind lady said, what time would you like breakfast? So I picked nine o'clock. I've been up since eight o'clock, had a nice shower, a nice gentle way to start the morning. And this is what has been delivered. So we've got some cucumbers, tomato, there's jam, there's this very cute little Nutella. I just actually looked at this, and considering this is the smallest little Nutella bottle ever, it's already been opened and half of it has been used i mean i thought i would have appreciated at least a brand new one there is some honey there is some ham some cheese uh some pastries a bread roll some crackers a croissant there's some strawberries there's yogurt what's this oh butter and look under here there is an egg that is still hot fresh orange juice and what looks like fresh milk. Now it's a little bit cloudy this morning, so the flight that I've got booked, I'm not sure whether it's gonna happen because of the cloud base, and I know that the cloud level's quite low, so if I do go up, I might not be able to see anything, so I'll have to wait to see if that's gonna happen. Okay, let's try this coffee machine out. I so want one of these in my house. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, let's hit okay for coffee. Oh, it's working. That smells amazing. What I absolutely love about this plane hotel is the fact that you have the whole plane to yourself and it is absolutely huge. Like I showed you um, earlier on in the video, you can run from one end to the other. It is so long. And the fact that you've got a sauna in here, a shower, a bath, a whirlpool bath at that. I guess the only downside to it is that it is in the middle of nowhere. And like last night when the restaurant was shut, it took me a little while to drive somewhere to go and get some food even there's like no local shops near here you've got kind of got to get in the car and drive about five ten minutes but it's not too bad so being kind of almost on this airport as well you can get these small little flights and also learn how to fly i'm absolutely gutted that i can't do that today because the weather is a bit rubbish breakfast was included in the price as is of course as much tea and coffee that you can actually want if you wanted to put this out for a few days, obviously you can cook your own food. There's a, there's an oven here, there's a full kitchen there you can use. And for any aviation enthusiast, the big draw is the cockpit. The fact that they've kind of done it all up and they've put little lights in there as well and the smell of the leather as you walk in with the seats. They've done a fantastic job. In fact, there's a DVD um, in here which shows you how they put the plane together and how they actually built this and the actual whole plane was done out by a famous designer security wise there is an actual gate on the front of it that is also locked the front door locks I guess the back door for me felt a little bit kind of flimsy but it did lock okay but I wasn't overly paranoid about my safety because it is really in the middle of nowhere now I'm comparing this to the jumbo stay in Stockholm just because that's the only other plane hotel that I've stayed in before and this one of course is more like a private plane which is completely luxurious compared to the one in Stockholm at least this bed isn't held up by books so how much did it cost it cost me 425 euros that was for two people as well and I really like the attention to detail they did for Valentine's even though it was just me and I did actually put on the booking it was just for one person but I guess they always just say it's for two people anyway tell me what you thought in the comments and if you want to see a jumbo jet hotel and this really is incredible make sure you click on the video on the screen now give the video a thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time